when Sinbad calls round for his money, could you invite him in, please? In here? Yeah, we want to have a word about the windows. And then make yourself scarce. Uh, we'd like a word in private, so if you could just make yourself busy upstairs, eh? <laughs> I'm all for the tea. Yeah, a fantastic machine. It works just like a phone. Do you want a drink, Max? Yeah, look, I've yeah, seen her before, yeah. Hey, I've got just a thing for your little Tommy here. Thomas. Tartarish. Patricia. Yeah, you can just use a little kipper with them on, can you? I, uh, I don't think so. Ah, well. <laughs> oh, do sit down. Yeah. Please. Hey, have you got any biscuits? It's all right, I'll burn it all off. You know the old training and that way. You must have seen a lot of changes in the clothes over the years. Oh, yeah, I've been here for ages, you know, yeah, uh, I've seen them all good and bad. But, yeah, I suppose I've, uh, suppose I've helped them all uh, at one time or another. But, uh, see, that's why I'm seen as more of a friend rather than someone who just cleans the windows, you know. A uh, trusted member of the community. Well, I mean, I've heard the residents say, like, but, uh, well, I try to stay off the limelight. Really? Well, I'm more reserved, you know, a bit like the Chinese. A Chinese couple used to have this place, didn't they? Yeah, well, they were a couple. I mean, they were brother and sister. Michael and uh, Caroline. Know them well? Oh, yeah, I was never away from the place. Well, he used to ask me over, you know, try all these fancy dishes out on me, see what I thought. Then I'd cook them a little bit of English, you know. So you must have missed them when they left? Well, I think it was more of a case of them not wanting to go without me, you know, especially Caroline. It broke her heart because we were, you know... Lovers? Yeah, well, plutonic, like. There was no funny stuff. So, when they left... Well, the place was empty. You know, and seeing as I was like a, an adopted son of Stephen, sure, he was the owl fella. Well, uh, he asked me to be the caretaker. Oh, that was good of him. Yeah, he wasn't bad for a wrinkly. So this was your address while the place was empty? Yes, yes, it was. I was responsible for everything that went on here. Everything? Everything. Good. And perhaps you can explain first these catalogue items delivered here in the choice name, and secondly, sort out my court summons for their non-payment. Case closed. You are not leaving here till we get to the bottom of this. I didn't do nothing. But when you were in charge of this property, items were delivered here in the choice name and you are liable. Yeah, but I've got to do it, me. All right. Now, you say you were the only one living here. Yeah. Did anyone else use the place? Did anybody else use this place? Uh, well? Um, well, I don't think it was Terry. Look, do you want me to sort you out? Max. I've had enough of this. Look, you jumped on me at the wedding, remember? Now, come on, I want a straight answer. All right. Well, I think... I think it was probably Jimmy. Eh? Hey, pardon? Jimmy. Jimmy Corkill. Thank you. Just as I concluded. Good. See you later. Well. Partners in crime. Yeah, hey, that's blasphemy. <laughs> Slander, perhaps, but I shouldn't worry. The cap fits you both. Look. Jimmy counted the stuff in, and he counted it out as That's well. That's not my problem. Yeah, well, I'm innocent. I'm sorry, a man is judged by the company that he keeps. So? A beard in the anger, there's no moss. You are implicated up to here. Look, I had nothing to do with Guilt it. Guilt by association. Oh, you think you're dead clever, don't you, eh, Perry Mason? Acting like a solicitor? You're only an architect. I'm not an architect. I'm a charter surveyor. Yeah, well, same difference. Walking out of a divvy crash. It's a up. safety hat, but look, my profession's got nothing to do with it. It has when you're trying to be dead clever and trying to stitch me I'm up. not trying to stitch anybody up. I want to get to the bottom of this mess. Yeah, well, I could have you both for kidnapping and hold me here against people. Come on, then. Let's go down to the station. You'll be very interested to hear it. Well, go on, then. What now, Inspector? I think we should play a call on your accomplice. Yeah, well, you can't, because he's out on business. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Yeah, he's flogging balloons. When's he expected back? I don't know, I'm not my brother's keeper. Well, it's a pity you couldn't be so biblical when it came to other people's property. Oh, come on, Maxie, you're not going to bubble us, are you? Well, I think a chat with Mr Corkill might decide the next course of action. Yeah, well, I'd watch him if I were you, because he tells lies. Thanks for the warning, Sinbad. Right, 
It's enough of your play acting. Hey, Maxie, come along. I've got an appointment. What's up? Hey! Hey, watch it, mate. I used to do boxing, you know. <laughs> I can't use me full strength. These are registered with the busies. Hey, all right, all right. Don't push. Hey! What's fella that did that? Ended up in hospital, mate. Yeah, he's a cripple. Hey! Hey, all right, don't push. I know me way around. We need longer than you, you know. Yeah, he's out. What's going on, hey? Trumbled, yeah. You what? Give that shot. How's the neighborhood watch coming along? Sound right? Good. And have you assessed the general area? Well, well, a lot of security firms use villains and petty criminals to assess the security risk, and I thought neighborhood watch could use you. Hey, you, that's slander, that. Yeah, that's what I told them. Oh, is it? I don't think so. I think I've hit the nail right on the head. Well, do you? Well, I'd call that impugning my reputation, mate. Oh, well, I'm glad you understand the severity of the situation because my reputation has been impugned. I had to suffer the embarrassment in a department store of being refused credit because my name is on a blacklist. Got nothing to do with me. Nor me. Oh, well, that's debatable. But it's going to cost me a lot of money to pay my solicitor to get my name off the blacklist. And I'm not paying it. Well, you needn't think I am. Oh, yes, you are. I'm going to give the two of you 21 days to pay up. Otherwise, I'm taking all my evidence, circumstantial though it is, to the police. In fact, if my memory serves me right, a policeman lives here. 21 days. <laughs>